We are now joined by Harika Dronavali, the team member of MGD1, one of the top performing teams here in the FIDE World Rapid Team Championship. Harika, thank you for finding the time to join us. Uh, second day, second round just behind us. How are you feeling? How is everything looking to you? I think it's a very interesting event for the first time being held uh, and I really love the way they're organizing. It's very, very professional. And uh, yeah, I really like uh, this tournament um, and I think also format is very interesting and new. When you say it's well organized, what, what, is it, what makes it so professional and well organized? Being the first time held like World Rapid Championship, I wasn't sure like, you know, and only for three days. So I thought maybe it will be like any other open tournament, but like being so professionally organized in every Everything aspect. Everything smoothly going. Yeah, every aspect, like, you know, even the conditions and everything in the tournament hall. So I wasn't expecting this level of uh, tournament, like uh, for sure. So that way I was like, I'm really impressed. Okay, great. Now speaking about the format, you said you like the format as well. There's a dedicated women's board. Uh, does that work for you? Do you think that's good for women's chess? What's your view? I mean, I don't have too much of opinion on this, but yeah, it's. I think uh, in a way it's interesting uh, because we never played like mixed team events really much on the board. So that, that definitely makes it interesting like uh, to play together. But okay, four men boards, one women board. I don't know like how they agree, like decided this, but I really don't have any opinion like what is good or bad. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the format. Would be, I mean, it just uh, dawned on me that, uh, let's say the Olympiad, would you be open to the idea or would you think it would work if you had a mixed format in the chess Olympiad, like, I don't know, free male, free female boards or something like that? Definitely, I think it will be very interesting for sure. <laughs> okay, well, someone might take note. Uh, uh, but speaking about the, the, this, your, your team is doing well. It's, uh, from what I could tell, it's all made of Indian players, uh, and it's an Indian company, of course, sponsoring it. Uh, what are the team dynamics like? And uh, obviously you all know each other, but India is a huge country. It doesn't mean that you spend a lot of time together. So what are the team dynamics like? So we are mostly Indians and uh, Gune is with us uh, uh, from Azerbaijan. So I think uh, it's a very friendly team and everyone is motivated uh, to try our best. And uh, yeah, like a lot of juniors are there. I think it has been like really fun to play as a team. Looking back at Baku, at the World Cup, uh, most of you guys flew, flew from Baku, but what are your reflections now that some distances, as we have a few days after that, what, how would you sum up your event there? Because you had a solid run. Uh, okay, I wouldn't, uh, I mean, I think I played uh, pretty decent. Uh, I didn't play bad for sure. I think in the end, like when I lost with uh, Gorichkin, at least one thing is I lost with the best player. Uh, so that's why I console myself. But yeah, I think I was very close. But uh, at the same time, I felt a little tired in the end. Like uh, maybe somewhere mentally or somewhere I felt like I could have done better. But somewhere I gave up with the thread like a little bit. And uh, yeah, overall, I think I'm satisfied with my game for sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is not like my first time. I already have been there like three times in semi-finals. I know how it works. It can be cruel, it can be lucky, like you can be lucky. So I don't have too much of, uh, you know, regret or anything. It's like I'm going with the flow. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Like now I think it's already like 10 days from since I got out of the tournament. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to look forward and not uh, look behind. <laughs> Well, in those 10 days, you had a, had a nice family occasion, I understand. You flew back to your home, India. Uh, your daughter, you celebrated your daughter's birthday. Uh, how old is she? What's her name? Uh, yeah, I, it was, it's been a very hectic week. Uh, with, uh, like I flew to India and then uh, it was my daughter's first birthday on 24th. Uh, we had like a big party. What's her name? Uh, it's Hanvika. She's Hanvika. Uh, like very similar to yours, yeah? Yeah, similar, like, but basically it's like uh, has a little bit of my name and my husband's name and uh, it has some meaning so we decided to put Hanvika and uh, okay, just time flies by the time like, you know, tournaments I'm playing and she's won already, but yeah, on 24th, uh, uh, I'm glad that I could make it. I, I had an event at home, 
a very big event then uh, immediately after the birthday party like i just like in one hour i i took a flight uh, i went to airport and took a flight so it's been hectic but also it's very interesting um hope this doesn't come across badly but uh, being a professional chess player and being a mother how difficult is it to manage all of that is obviously being with your child takes a lot of time how are you managing both no definitely it takes a lot of time i think uh, most important is to have a support system and i think i'm lucky enough that i have a very good support system back home that uh, i d- i need not worry about my daughter much because i know that she is in a very good uh, safe hands so i think for me it's bit easier because i have really good support system but overall i think yeah it's not uh, so easy for sure this i i didn't know before i realized after having a baby that actually it's not so easy and maybe that is a now i understand the reasons like you know why women players uh, earlier like when they had babies slowly they uh, like few are doing really well even on uh, even now at the top and few have like you know somewhere lost the thread but uh, yeah it's definitely difficult and it's all about your choices and also um, how much support you get to and final question here getting back to Düsseldorf uh, i noticed that Arkadiusz Borkovich the president of FIDE is taking part in the tournament how does that feel to you like the FIDE president playing in an event i think it's nice uh, like nice chess atmosphere here like uh, FIDE team is also playing yeah i think uh, everyone is enjoying chess here so that's that's uh, very good same thing well thank you very much for your time and good luck with the rest of the tournament thank you